home. From deserts to snowy mountains, as surely as the seasons change, through the passage of time, every inch of our world is, as it has always been, teeming with life, with creatures large and small. Join us in celebrating the mighty wilderness in Wild About. At the ends of the earth, in the farthest reaches of the world, past jungles and forests, grasslands and hilltops, deep in the unforgiving cold, in the freezing waters, rocky shores, and icy slopes. An animal unlike any other battles the elements, born for the seas, where their brethren were born for the skies, thriving in places few would survive, fish eaters and fast swimmers, flightless birds, hunters of the southern seas, kings and emperors among them, rulers of the ice and snow. All penguins are semi-aquatic, spending more than half their lives in the water, being excellent swimmers. Save for occasional accents of color, all penguins are predominantly black and white in appearance. Black on their backs and heads, white across their abdomen, an appearance frequently called a tuxedo. This pattern constitutes a form of camouflage known as countershading. The blacks blending in with the dark seas when seen from above, the whites making them hard to distinguish against the bright sunlight when seen from below. Only found in the southern hemisphere, penguins are among the few species of animal particularly prevalent in Antarctica, withstanding the harshest cold found on Earth, with temperatures reaching as low as 50 below zero Celsius, in conditions that would be lethal to even a heavily dressed human being. Though contrary to popular belief, Many penguin species also exist in temperate areas of South America and Oceania, with the Galapagos penguin even existing near the equator, with the northern penguin species typically being smaller than the ones found in Antarctica. The smallest, the little blue penguin standing a mere 13 inches in length, being found along the coastlines of New Zealand and South Australia, while the largest, the famous emperor penguin, stands at 3 feet 7 inches and is found only in Antarctica itself. Penguins first evolved from other prehistoric birds around the death of the dinosaurs 60 to 70 million years ago, with the fossilized remains of early basal penguins found in New Zealand and Antarctica, with dense flippers, adapted specifically for a semi-aquatic life as opposed to flying. Their bones flattened, broadened, and fused together to form a single stiff surface, covered in short scale-like feathers. Penguins soon also grew larger than other birds as they were no longer confined by aerodynamics and by the need to keep a low body weight. Some modern penguins becoming as heavy as 90 pounds, with solid, dense bones to overcome buoyancy, as opposed to the hollow bones of flying birds. Certain prehistoric penguins have been known to become the size of a full-grown man, such as the Anthropornis existing around 40 million years ago. Penguins today consist of 20 different species which can be divided into six different genus. They can be distinguished by size and a wide array of subtle markings. Aptenodites, or great penguins, consisting of the king penguin and the emperor penguin, known for their large size, bright yellow, orange necks, bills, and breasts. They are the most primitive penguins and exist mainly around the coasts of Antarctica and its surrounding islands. Pagasius, or brush-tailed penguins, known for their distinctive formation of tail feathers unique to the three surviving species, existing mainly around Antarctica, but extending further north from the great penguins. Eudiptula, or little penguins, made up of the two smallest species known, the little blue and the white flippered penguin, found mainly in New Zealand. Sphenicus, or banded penguins, consisting of four species, distinguished by their large black band patterns running down the length of their bodies as well as their loud braying calls. 
with most found in South America, as well as one species, the African penguin, in southernmost South Africa, and the Galapagos penguin, found only in the Galapagos Islands far off the coast of Ecuador. Megadiptes, a genus only consisting of the yellow-eyed penguin of New Zealand, its closest relative, the Waitaha penguin, having become extinct sometime during the past 700 years, and the Eudiptes, or crested penguins, the most widespread family of penguins, found across Antarctica, South America, New Zealand, in the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans, known for their colorful appearance, with prominent yellow crests and red bills, and are the only penguins to display any sexual dimorphism with males being somewhat bigger and having larger bills than females, and are also known to crossbreed, producing hybrid species. While on land, penguins often appear clumsy, waddling along in a hurried pace easily toppling over. Their high center of gravity and small feet necessitating the use of their stiff tails to support their upright stance. A stance developed to minimize their exposure to harsh winds and cold weather. Penguins use their flippers to maintain balance while walking, leading to the popular depiction of penguins as childlike or physically awkward, only occasionally sliding on their bellies across the snow, a movement known as tobogganing, or jumping with both feet across steep or rocky terrain. Their true element is the water, however, with their small web feet pushed far back to further streamline their bodies, depending instead on their flippers for underwater locomotion, using them in water much like flying birds use their wings in the air. Penguins usually swim up to 8 miles per hour, able to reach burst speeds up to 24 miles per hour. They are also able to leap as high as 10 feet straight up in the air from the water surface to land on ice shelves with many penguins also leaping in and out of the water to take breaths while not losing forward momentum, a practice known as porpoising, and is particularly common among smaller penguins who stick closer to the surface, often hovering around 50 to 60 feet deep, while larger penguins can dive even deeper, the emperor penguin in rare cases having been recorded going as deep as 1,800 feet for as long as 27 minutes in a single breath. As penguins often take in large quantities of seawater, they have developed a unique way of dealing with the high salt content, thanks to a specialized supraorbital gland located just above the eyes, filtering out the salt, excreting as a brine solution through the bill, often constantly dripping from their nasal passages, appearing similar to a runny nose, even occasionally sneezed out. Their keen eyesight has also been specifically developed for the extreme differences in light conditions with full color vision. Their pupils can expand up to 300 times its most constricted size in order to see in the murky waters, and is also believed to be able to sense even ultraviolet light. Using the light in the position of the sun as a navigational tool during the day, as well as finding a mate as the bills of some male penguins reflect ultraviolet light. Their sense of smell has also been shown to be significant compared to other birds, with the olfactory lobe of a penguin's brain being substantially larger. In order to smell areas dense with prey, all penguins are carnivorous, feeding mainly on fish, squid, krill, and other crustaceans. Penguins typically hunt by diving and swimming rapidly, catching their prey in their mouths. The bill of different penguins varies in shape with their diet. Species that specialize in fish tend to have longer, thinner bills to aid in grasping and holding their prey as well as reaching inside it. While penguins that specialize in eating in smaller crustaceans such as krill have shorter, broader bills to take in more prey in a single bite. Their mouth is further lined with small thorny spikes facing the throat, even their tongue having a rough spiny texture to further aid in holding and swallowing their prey alive. Penguins often have very large hunting ranges from a short 10 mile radius in areas abundant with prey to up to nearly a thousand miles for emperor penguins who hunt for larger fish. Though most penguins stick close to the shoreline, some finding themselves far from sea can also seek out seal holes and other cracks in the ice to gain access to the water. Their smooth plumage also preserves a layer of air for buoyancy and to insulate the penguin from waters so cold. Most other animals would suffer severe hypothermia from swimming in it, with specialized feathers covering every inch of the penguin's body. 
closely spaced, short and broad with tufts of down on the feather shafts themselves, protecting the penguin's skin from the water. Penguins have, as a result, more feathers relative to its body surface than any other bird, with some species having over 100 feathers per square inch of skin. Penguins often seem preening or cleaning their feathers from water and dirt. The leg gland near the base of their bill secretes an oil to aid in the insulating effect of the plumage. All penguins shed their feathers once or twice a year, usually after breeding seasons, known as molting, to replace worn out feathers that have lost their insulating abilities, during which the penguins are highly sensitive to moisture and cold temperatures, staying on land for the duration of the molt, fasting until completion, instead relying on fat reserves accumulated for months prior to molting. The new feathers emerge underneath the old ones, pushing them out in patches, lending them an unusually scruffy look, as the old feathers will not fall off until the new ones are fully in place. Their large size further limits heat loss as well, by reducing relative surface area to their body mass. And they're also known to shiver and huddle together in groups to generate additional heat, particularly over the harsh Antarctic winter months aided by an additional layer of fat, which in emperor penguins can grow to be over an inch thick. Penguins are also able to control blood flow to their extremities at will, able to reduce the amount of blood that gets cold by decreasing the heart rate while diving, as well as using complex countercurrent heat exchange system while on land, where the blood vessels carrying out fresh blood out into the limbs transfers their warmth to blood returning to the heart, thereby conserving heat. While some, like the Lapagos penguins, have the rare issue of often overheating, causing them to periodically ruffle their feathers to release heat. While the African penguin and Humboldt penguin have bare patches on their legs and faces where excess heat can dissipate. Penguins are highly social animals, though sometimes traveling and hunting in smaller numbers than individuals. All penguins are colonial, with most gathering over mating season, forming large colonies known as rookeries, which consist of a few hundred individuals, as with the Gentoo penguins, up to hundreds of thousands, with the king, macaroni, and chinstrap penguins, covering areas of hundreds of square kilometers. The only exceptions being the yellow-eyed and fjordland penguins, who breed as individual pairs. As a result, penguins have a wide array of visual and auditory communications, with different calls and postures and flapping of their wings indicative of either welcoming greetings or antagonistic displays to ward off unwanted individuals or avoid conflict. The different vocalizations of penguins are divided into three categories, the contact call being the loudest, able to be heard nearly a mile away among the larger penguin species, and is used to identify and greet colony members. The display call being the most complex call, used among partner penguins and conveys territorial, sexual, and individual recognition information. As all penguin calls are also individually identifiable, allowing mates to recognize each other by sound. The last being the threat call, the simplest of all calls, and is used to defend the territory or to call attention to a nearby predator Breeding season takes place every 12 to 16 months, with only the emperor penguin breeding during winter, while most others breed during summer, during which penguins form monogamous pairs, usually changing only because their mate from the previous year fails to return to the same nesting area. The location of the rookery area typically stays the same year after year, and is often farther inland than their normal hunting grounds, sometimes by dozens of miles with the rockhopper penguins particularly known for returning to the same spot on the same day year after year to mate. Males arrive first to establish a nest area, often fastings which focus their entire attention on the preparation of the nest site. Nesting sites vary greatly between species, from forest lands and bushes, to rocky shores, to flat inland ice shelves. Most build nests with stones or twigs, crucial in the courtship of the coming females. There are three distinct types of courtship displays. The ecstatic display, also known as trumpeting, comes first, 
where calls and head swinging indicates the male has established possession of a nest site and warns other males to stay away. This is then followed by the mutual ecstatic, where the female reciprocates the ecstatic display to show her interest, facing her mate doing the movements either alternating or in unison, establishing a pair bond. The mutual ecstatic display also continues throughout egg incubation and chick feeding. The last stage is bowing, where one or both partners lower their heads, pointing their bill at that of their mate, followed by a low hiss or growl, which strengthens recognition between partners and resolves any conflict. Before mating, one mate bows deeply to the other to indicate their intentions. Their mate does the same before consummation. The mating act itself is typically very brief. The female can then lay one or two eggs. While the emperor and king penguins instead opt to incubate their single egg on the top of their feet, fitting under a loose fold in the lower abdomen, where a featherless patch known as a brood patch is filled with blood vessels, transferring heat from the body to the egg. Both partners share in incubating the eggs, taking turns while the other searches for food to bring back to their mate. With the exception of the emperor penguin, where the father is solely responsible for the egg. After hatching, the chicks are similarly looked after by both parents one staying behind while the other hunts and brings back food, regurgitating into the mouth of the chick and their mate. As the chicks are born small and defenseless, either naked or with a thin brown, white, or gray plumage, that changes only after the penguin reaches adolescence. With the Adelaide chicks undergoing their first molt after two months of age, while the king penguin's chick only molts after a year with all penguins taking an additional two to seven years to reach maturity. Most penguins are long-lived, lifespans often around 15 to 20 years. The mortality rates among chicks and younger penguins are often high due to the extreme conditions many penguins are exposed to, with over half the king penguin chicks dying of starvation during the harsh winter months, and emperor penguin chicks having an even higher mortality rate of 90% in their first year of life. Penguins are often killed by predators such as leopard seals, fur seals, sea lions, sharks, or killer whales. Prey on the eggs and chicks of penguins that strayed too far from the rookeries or are too sickly or too weak to defend themselves. The word penguin itself originated as a term for the now extinct great auk of the North Atlantic. Though only distantly related to penguins, they were similar enough in appearance that when the first European explorers traveled south, they named them after the same Welsh term. Penguin, meaning whitehead. Penguins quickly became popular among explorers and sailors for their apparent lack of fear of humans. As many Antarctic species lack land predators, their upright stance and curious demeanor are often leading to humanized depictions in art and culture, often depicted as friendly and comical, with an exaggerated sense of dignity despite their physical limitations, frequently made use of as a non-threatening or child-friendly logotype or mascot for companies and organizations, and often appearing as animated characters in children's shows or as popular plush toys. Though since their discovery, with the first explorers on Antarctica and their surrounding islands, many new predators were also introduced, such as dogs, rats, and cats, that soon targeted the easy prey of unsuspecting penguins, as well as being hunted specifically by humans for both their meat and their eggs, with many indigenous peoples originating penguin hunting.
continued by Western fishermen and explorers who found penguins to be an easy source of food due to their inability to fly and lack of fear of humans. As well as penguin skin used to make items of clothing such as caps and slippers. Their dense feathers often used as stuffing. The oil found in the body fat of penguins also once considered valuable with penguin hunting for oil particularly popular in the Falkland Islands, once known for their sizable population of penguins, with five different species often nesting on the island. Over 2.5 million penguins are estimated to have been killed over just a 15-year period during the early 1900s. A frenzy ending only with the introduction of cheaper chemical alternatives in 1918. Penguins are to this day threatened also by competition for food with humans. Particularly overfishing in the South Pacific greatly affecting nearby penguin colonies. Contributing to steep declines in penguin populations worldwide. With many penguins also getting caught in fishermen's nets and drowning as a result. Additional documented climate changes have also been shown to lead to a loss of the habitat for our Antarctic penguins, particularly reducing emperor penguin populations. We require large expanses of thick sea ice for their enormous rookeries. While the main source of food for many penguin species, the krill, has also significantly been reduced due to the melting ice caps reducing algae, the krill's own source of food. The population of chinstrap penguins has declined by more than 50% as a direct result of global warming. Oil leaks additionally poisoning thousands of penguins. Crude oil getting caught in their feathers, reducing their insulating abilities and leading to hypothermia. And though today most penguins have been declared protected or endangered, illegal harvesting of penguin eggs continues as well. Often sold as a delicacy with their unusually large yolks considered particularly desirable. Penguin meat also still finding use as bait for fishermen in the South Seas. Despite many legal sanctions against any form of killing of penguins, Despite their popularity, it seems the future does not bode well for the penguins, finding themselves in a shrinking world of melting snow and ice. Now facing the same threat of extinction so many of their forebearers failed to evade. But until that day, they remain on the shores of our beaches, on the cold and unforgiving Antarctic ice shelves, and in the oceans. One of the last remaining wild predators on Earth.